And every night, every day, I'm going to say, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you to look up, because I'm going to get you. I'm going to make you love me. Ooh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'm going to make you love me. Ooh, yes, I will. You know I will. My love is strong, you see. I know you never get tired of me. Hey, baby. And I'm going to use every trick in the book and I'll try my best to get you hooked. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. First of all, I want to give a shout out to um, the ancestors for making this one of the best weekends that I've had in a long time. And anybody that participated in it, Thank you as well. How y'all doing? I want to get to this story uh, right away. Alarm clock went off perfectly, didn't it? Um, I can't get to it yet because there's not enough time has passed. And y'all already know what that means, right? So we got a few more seconds. We counting down on that. And then we're going to um, start talking about Mr. West and Mrs. West. Well, she wants to be Mrs. Kardashian again. So, without further ado, let me just say this right now. And I want y'all to take a page out of Donald Trump's book. And what did he say? Proud Boys and Earth Oath Keepers, stand back and stand down. Stand back and stand down. And so now that Kanye West is in trouble, he wants help with his black children. Yeah, wait, wait a minute now. So I got to tell y'all, listen, we already all mixed up. You already know we our minds are reprobated. Most of our minds are gone. Okay, it's just been too much abuse and our bodies are too much filled with pain, emotionally, mentally. So we find anything to latch on to, to give energy to when we should all hold it and collectively use it for one big exodus. But that's one more um, story we can talk about later. Kanye West calls out Kim Kardashian on Instagram and he says, I ain't playing about my black children. Anymore. Now, this is the first time I've ever felt sorry for Kim Kardashian. See, now the children is black, and I want to ask him a question. Has he asked his father, Donald Trump, for any help? Because it seemed to me that that's where he need to be going right now. He need to be going to Donald Trump and asking him for the help that he needs. Because first of all, you didn't talked about Harriet Tubman. Slavery was a choice. Donald Trump is your daddy. So I think it just be fit that you go ahead and handle your business by getting in touch with your dad and see what his opinion about your damn situation is. He done been divorced about three or four times. He got about five some kids with different women's so, But your daddy is who you need to ask Donald Trump. He's once again lashing out on social media to at his soon-to-be ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. The rapper continued his war of words with Kim, posted a text, he, um, uh, a text exchange he claimed to have with his ex's cousin. Wes has repeatedly claimed that Kardashian has prohibited him from seeing the couple's four children. On Sunday, Wes posted a screenshot of a text that reads, send me Kim's number. However, it received no response. In the caption, Wes elaborated on the situation, claiming that Kardashian had accused him of trying to have her killed. Okay. He said, 
Yesterday, Kim accused me of putting a hit out on her. Let me get this straight. I beg to go to my daughter's party. I'm accused of being on drugs. Then I go play with my son and I take my Akira graphic novels and I'm accused of stealing. Now I'm being accused of putting a hit on her. These ideas can actually get someone locked up. They play like that with, the, with black men's lives. Whether it's getting them free or getting them locked up, I'm not playing about my black children anymore. Listen, don't you dare uh, come uh, dragging us in this shit with, y with you. How dare you, young man? You need to sit your ass down. Get so, well, listen, and I know, um, let me stop, because I know what you, you need to stop listening to them friends. And the people that you talking about that's telling you behind a back that you're doing okay and that uh, they agree with you, but they, they ain't saying nothing out loud. Because if they ain't saying it out loud, trust me, they probably talking about you behind your back. That's what they're doing. But they're telling you that because they want to work. That's how Hollywood is. You already know. They want to work. They want you to produce their next album or they want to do something. So they'll tell you that shit. But behind uh, the uh, uh, scene, they're like, that's what your ass gets. Okay, so you might as well stop that. Now, we need to learn how to ostracize people. That don't mean cancel culture. I don't know nothing about that. But I know in a religious uh, maybe frame of mind or in a, a, a spiritual realm of things, the Jews practice it all the time. They ostracize you. OK, when you've made us look bad, when you've ashamed the culture, when you've done something that is not on point on cold. You get ostracized. I've seen it happen. Let me tell you something about the Jewish people that live with my friend. He lived in a Jewish uh, neighborhood. Um, uh, and you know how they put the little things out certain time of the year, those little boxes. Um, and they do whatever they whatever goes on. But they all have the boxes out there in the neighborhood. They wear those little beanies and stuff. So what happened here? Was my friend used to go and change their little light bulbs and, you know, do a lot of little little yard work for them in the neighborhood and do keep their snow shoveled and things of that nature. And they were mad at the other Jewish people across the street, right? Let me tell you how this stuff worked. I had never seen nothing like it. I said, you know what? But that's where it's supposed to go. It's kind of like what Farrakhan said about Milton Coleman. When he comes to the black church, tell him, you're not work, work, welcome here right now. Because what you did was for white people, you got off cold for black people, and now you want to come. Uh -uh. For a protracted period of time, you need a break. And I hated to bring that little sidebar in, but I had to. Um, but what, what they did was these people was coming across the street, right? And um, they was going to say something to the other neighbors and I'm talking about on point they turned their backs in unison together the other four that was out there talking to each other so those other two that was across the street they, I guess they was going to go over and join the little conversation but whatever they did they was mad at them they turned around and their backs were showing and me and my brother was like Look at that. And then people walk their ass back across that street. I ain't never seen nothing like it. See, black people ain't got nothing they stand on like that. They'll just go and grab some guns or something or do some, you know, nine, you know what? That right there had more impact on anything that I ever seen because that's how we used to roll. We used to know how to roll like that. We don't anymore. Kanye West needs uh, to handle this, and he need to either ask Donald Trump about it, you know, because that's his daddy. So either he needs to ask, and don't be asking the black community and tell about how I help you with your black kids and all this stuff right now. Y'all don't let him do that. How dare him? He exposed them. He's mad because uh, 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 she's seeing Pete Davidson now. Which I think is 
crazy because you got that other person who you don't care about. You really want her. You did it to make her jealous. And that's why I said always be true to who you are. Sometimes you make a mistake and the person has a right to forgive you or they don't. Who am I to say somebody got to forgive me? They don't. Maybe that wasn't my intention, maybe whatever, but hey, listen, it is what it is. If they don't forgive me, ain't nothing I can do. If they don't forgive him, if Kim don't want to be fucking with him no more, really, there's nothing he can do about it. All this getting on the internet and saying these things about the mother of your children, you are out of your mind. And now all of a sudden you want to take them to Chicago to a basketball game. I don't want y'all to show me three three pictures. I'll take it down less than that. Two. Where he's out at games with just his him and his children. Just him being a parent thing. Let me see it. I ain't never seen him at a game with his wife. At least I've seen Jay-Z and Beyonce and them out with the kids. Basketball game. I ain't never even seen that from you. So now what are you talking about? You're just trying to make that woman's life miserable. And it's not a good look. It's not a good look. And, and all I'm saying, I want you to get help. I want the black community, I want you to stop running to us when you ran for pub, uh, 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 um, president uh, with Donald Trump hoping that the, the black votes could go to you because they think we're so stupid and you help perpetuate that damn idea by running for president and running for Republicans to take votes away from Joe Biden. I don't give a damn about either one of those old white men. Okay? They just different wings on the same bird. The Democrat Party, the Republican Party. Both of them ain't shit. And if anybody that's black that still think that, that they're going to solve any issues that we have, Joe Biden just showed you. He just showed you, right? So, but that don't mean I will vote for Kanye West. Okay? So, the deal I'm trying to say here is, Friday, he 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 accused um, uh, 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 West accused Kardashian of kidnapping their daughter Chicago. So then he he deletes the post. America, you 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 um, America saw you try to kidnap my daughter on her birthday, by not providing the address. You put security on me inside the house to play with my son, then accused me of stealing. Can you imagine what this dude is like? He's very manipulative and controlling. And a lot of uh, people think when they don't get their way, that that's what they, sh they act, act out like that. Or they act out in other ways. Ain't no civilization. Ain't no conversation. Ain't no, it's his way. And this was now all of a sudden he want to see the kids every day. So he moved across the street. So now he want to pull in public sympathy because he was kept from his father. But you just said Donald Trump was your dad. Can't have it both ways. Okay. So, no. Deal with the consequences of your behavior. And whatever you, you already got on t uh, the concert talking about you was in Get Out. <laughs> You've been, been taking Kim through pure hell. Pure hell. Pure hell. And I'm saying, I'm not letting Kim off the hook. That's what you get. You chase that bag. You got everything that come along with it. Okay? And and them kids. And you better hope they will. <laughs> Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Because that's what happens when y'all lasses don't take your time and figure out, should I mate and co uh, procreate with this MF? Okay? All right. So at the end of the day, like I said, they need prayer. Okay? And Kanye need to stop threatening her over the internet for somebody to come pick his ass up and lock him up for real and for real. Okay? So with that being said, 
If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I want to hear y'all opinion below. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.